Hi, and welcome to Fluid Mass Training. This image, we're going to extract out this background, keeping our flowers and the tree branch. We're going to get started over here with our red brushes first. We're going to use our second red brush down, which is our Delete Local brush, and just simply go ahead and paint any of these segments where the sky is showing through. And notice it flood fills that whole area just by tapping in and touching those areas. Get in these little spots right here. So go in there. And what we're going to do next is go ahead and do our image autofill with keep. This is going to generate our keep mask, which is the green that'll pop up here. Instead of painting in all those segments with green, we can do image autofill. So we have our red delete, our green is our keep. But what I want to go down here on the very bottom is turn off my object edges real quick and I want to explain your autofill for you. The autofill actually generates this blue line. This blue line is actually your transition to transparency from the foreground and the background that you're cutting out. So if I go over and create my cutout with the icon off to the bottom left, you'll see we have a very nice soft edge transition here. We can actually control that edge. By going back into my workspace here, and I'm just going to do an Apple Z or Control Z if you're on PC. And I'm going to take that one step back. If you look off to the right hand side, you do have an edge finding little button here. Underneath that, you'll have your blend mask width. In your blend mask width, the default is going to be set at medium. I can actually change that, which is going to control the thickness of that blue line. So by going to none and going back into my image, autofill with keep you're going to see no blue transition line now. So if I create this cutout, you'll see we have a very hard edge sometimes bringing in maybe part of the background still. So we really want to eliminate that. That's why we have that blue transition line. I can go back into my workspace, do a Apple Z or a Control Z, go back into my menu here for my blend mask width, and change that to medium, which is our default. Back to Image, Autofill with Keep, create that cutout, and you'll notice a nice soft transition area. You do have the option for a thin, which will thin up the blue line, or a thick, which will thicken up the blue line. It is only your second step, so you're not totally committed. You can actually go back in and change that if you need to. Uh, there are a few little spots on here that we want to go ahead and get rid of before we finish that. And if I look down here on the very bottom, we've got a little bit of that blue sky in the background. Back in our workspace, I can use the blue pen, which is located underneath your red paint brushes. And I'm going to use my bracket key to scale my brush down. And I'm simply just going to go paint over that area where we have that background sky showing through the petal here. And zoom back out a little spot right in here as well. And that should be pretty good. We're going to go ahead and create that cutout and notice those little areas now are gone. 